this game, and it's finally starting to come to him. And everybody, you know, you can say that as much as you want, but until you prove it in bracket, it's all words. Yep. But he doesn't need words. He's got his actions, and he's sitting here and loses finals against Random Fiend, the last contenders of each state currently. Like you said before, we got Mass with, with the Boston area sitting at the top end, waiting your grand finals. We got NY's Invader and Random Fiend, who's basically an E to us at this point. And then we got CT Zone Floki, the last defender of the House of Connecticut here at Retro World, trying to take out Random Fiend. Let's get into it. Ooh, <laughs> just the 2 H, he was ready for it. Keeping them honest post Super Dash. Mm -hmm. But you know what? We got answers of our own. Oh, He's going to have those. Attack. Oh, you know he does. He already landed one earlier today. And what a great way to deal with the problem that is the adult Gohan than deleting him off of the first interaction you have with him. This is not how you want to start your first game in Losers, especially after having the. <gasps> no, he dropped it, but he still got the 2 H so he could get rid of the blue health. But that is a huge drop coming in from him. Doesn't matter though, gets the air to air on the way in. You got aggression, so do I. My word, caught him by the tip of his boot on trying to up back out of that mm. incoming character mix up. And just do not dash him. at me, sir, no, I have a boot. Excuse me, sir, uh, this is my weekend to see my son. I did not say that you could get into this house. Please back off. Floki ready to answer the vanish with his own counter vanish, side switch. He's got him in the corner now, ready with the 2-H, Floki is. Finally gets what is his first real clean hit. And also, a potential character kill. This would be huge for Floki to even this back up if he potentially could. He's got the damage available to him. It is below sparking point, like you said, but he decided just to go for level three. But he just oh. grabs this man. See, that was the read. I'll save the bar and make the uh, read on the tech situation. Works out nicely for him, and Floki, has the life disadvantage, but still sitting on his sparking. Mm -hmm. However, I think this could be a dead Piccolo, unless oh, he drops no. it. Oh no, in random feed, he almost autopiloted kind of, and that combo just assumed it was gonna hit, and now he's stuck in a situation where he has to hold the Hell Zone grenade mix up. Oh, he blocks his way out of it. Floki's Piccolo on a pixel sparks to save Piccolo. I like that instead of swapping because Random Fiend has been punting people all day. He is definitely getting that sponsorship to the NFL. But right now, not this time. Floki gonna get rid of that cell and all of a sudden turning what was a very bad start. Uh, almost touch of death at the start. Now he's on top. And I mean, it should have been a fundamentally different game than it is right now. I'm sorry, I thought I heard the NFL sound in the background after I said that, like, man, I appreciate whoever the sound cue guy is in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I was, as soon as you heard it, I was trying to figure out what you were listening for. <laughs> Random Fiend with the pressure in the corner. Oh no, this is not going to work out great for him. Floki's able to get another hit and then just dash up 2M. I do think that this is going to be a dead character. No, he has to spend the bar. And goes for the low, good defense. Get it. Guard cancels his way out of there, but this is still a fully fresh a Goku. My man's. My man, he somehow brought that back. He was in such a bad position, and he doesn't care. He's you know like, what no, it is? you almost you thought got rid of my Gohan. I still got Piccolo. He just he won in the neutral. It was it was literally footsies. Mm -hmm. This is, without a doubt, I will say the growth of Floki. I I I like to hold off because I'm very stubborn about telling the players in the area when they've hit a stride because I want everybody to feel hungry and never stop. But this is definitely one of the good growing moments for Floki in terms of the way he's approaching this. But don't sleep on Random Fiend because all he needs is one good opening, as we saw before, to eliminate a character. And he is not one to just let people run away with a victory. Random Fiend with a lot of blue health on cell right now. If he's able to DHC, he doesn't build the third bar, but he's going to DHC anyway. Get some of that blue health back on uh, cell. I can't really catch anything else out there, but oh my just God. baits him on approach with the key blast. It's like, go ahead, come in. You think this is punishable? Nah, get out my face. Give me that my son back. I said, this is a custody battle for the ages in Piccolo. Getting out of the way, gonna give the Gohan back up to Goku. It's my time. Random Fiend seems like he's playing this game a little bit more reserved in the neutral than he was in the last game. I agree. The last game, what really burned him was he was running into some of these big, high-profile uh, pokes that Floki was able to put out. I definitely agree. You know, as we've said, this has been all aggression on Floki. It's where his successes come from. Just 5H drop kick out my house. But now he's going to hold the Hell's Own grenade mix up. If he can block this, he's in good position. Oh, he got hit by it, but uh, Floki not prepared to follow up. He was prepared, however, to deal with that alpha counter. You thought you were out of hell zone? I bring you back in. Now this is all my game, but DP's recognizing his like aggression. DP's. 
It's like, yo, you got DPs on dude too. Where are yours? They're gone. I already got rid of that Gohan. Random Fiend sitting in the back. He was so ready for that hard tag again. Ooh. That's the second time. Multiple people have tried to just run up, ban out a reflect. Random Fiend hasn't given it up. He beat AODG doing the same thing. And Random Fiend, uh, excuse me, Floki lost the character because of it. Still, plenty good position. We've seen many a comeback with the, uh, Super Saiyan Goku. Yeah, but Floki's gonna have to play really honest. The stagger pressure, however, is really working out for him. This isn't the first time that Floki's gotten an opening with a really long delayed stagger. It's working out really nicely for him. Yep, and like I said, you know, he got rid of at least one. Now there is the great one-two punch of Cell and Vegeta and just jumps over the air Kame, getting himself into the corner. Footsies. This is true spacing. Good reflect, not in a position to punish after the, uh, the vanish, however. Finally, Floki burns his sparking. And just hitting him with a single hit, a perfect attack to swap position. Got to waste a lot of time coming in off of this super. Uh, and Floki has to eat this mix up now. No sparking as a defensive option, because obviously he just pick, uh, picked it. But that time he was prepared because he decided just to reset and go into Dragon Rush, and Floki was ready for it to tech. Oh, again, he keeps trying to zone him out and it's not working. He is jumping over, whether it's in the air or on the ground. Random Fiend really starting to pick up a thing that Floki's trying to go for it. And that's going to be game two to Random Fiend. Excellent adjustment from Random Fiend coming into that game two. Like you said, the way that he approached center stage in neutral. He wasn't trying to be as aggressive and deal with the scrambles that Floki kept winning on and getting a lot of better pokes. He played it passive, and now Random Fiend's the one that's dancing. Both of them <laughs> having a good time up there. This is one of the best sets that we've seen so far today in terms of just the start, and both of them really feeling themselves. So we're looking into potentially, in my guess, a game five. We're gonna have to see how well this goes. Right now, Random Fiend playing really nicely on defense. Floki backs off with no assists. He feels like committing the block string pressure. Goes for the Dragon Rush, but Random Fiend ready to tech at that time. Random Fiend really starting to get a hang of the way that Floki's mix-up options have been going for. Gets him with the overhead, and he draws first blood. So he's going to have to get this hard knockdown here. Floki, is he going to uppercut? No, he holds up. Double jumps out. Oh, but it's okay. We still got two H's. I see you coming at me, Baloo. Now he's going to be able to... Okay, he's not going to go for the swap mix-ups. He's just going to go for level three. I like it just to continue to exert pressure on this cell. It's been a big problem, and one of the keys to Random Fiend's success, what, the what in was the that? world was that option? And it worked, and that is a dead, oh, oh no! no! That Loki, is please. No, that's not what you want, but gets the vanish and still able to close it out. That would have been a huge drop if he couldn't close out that cell. To be clear, I need to make sure that looked like it was with 2H meaty pressure, and then he empty landed into that's you did it. You hell. didn't miss. You, you were not incorrect. He just threw out a whipped 2 H to bait out something. Random Fiend probably was confused. I and was he walked confused. away with it. I was super confused. And just jumps up, catches him, trying to go a little bit too low to get the staggers. And Random Fiend gonna get excuse me, Floki gonna get himself out of the corner. Random Fiend is gonna need to keep his strings tighter and his meaties tighter at this point, provided that it's not Gohan on the screen. Floki is holding up out of so many setups. Mm -hmm. Agreed, and also something as well. Random Fiend doing a much better job of catching Floki on backdash, because Floki is just opting to run away and then try to bait and approach with DP. He's just punishing him raw on these backdash techs, so it's working very well for him so far. Floki, that time he does DP. Random Fiend ready with the DP bait. Jump over Super Dash. Can't catch me if I'm on the other side of you, my guy. Now we're currently down to a character piece. Both of them looking dead even. Oh, not falling for that time, but prepared to meet him with the vanish so he couldn't get out of there. Oh, the stagger pressure once again. Floki's been going to that really nicely, but doesn't able to capitalize in that errant situation. Random Fiend now with the clean hit in the corner. Gonna get this knockdown. No, he's gonna get blue beat combos. Floki was not holding buttons. I don't know what his decision behind that was. He might have just gotten a little flustered, wiped his head off or something, took his buttons off, but never take your buttons off the controller. That's free damage. That's plus frame. Well, it wasn't plus frames, but he was ready to whiff punish the whiff punish. Mm -hmm. Reads on reads on reads on reads. And Random Fiend really starting to make the adjustments necessary to stop all of the play that Floki has had. He's successfully been able to stop the oppression that uh, Floki's been able to exert, but he's not at it just yet. So heavily scaled, however. Still gonna go into the level three. I almost disagree with I, that. I it's just so scaled. personally disagree just because it was three bars for maybe 30 some odd, 40 some odd damage. Like for high, high 40s, but 
Now he's he gonna die, no and now he's out he's, of the corner. He has no bar, and he has to now try to make this happen. And like we said, Brandon Bean got center, and now he's able to push Floki back in the corner. He could have potentially mixed them up one more time, but we'll see if it doesn't blow it. I like the fact that he's sparking down there and gets the key blast so he can push him back in. So I expect Random Fiend will pop his spark comparatively soon. Now that Floki's popped his, no, he's gonna eat this overhead. Floki with a fair bit of meter. Yeah, Random Fiend, super confident in his defense, is actually gonna pay for it. He still has the sparking damage. This is gonna come very close to killing. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a slither of health left. Not enough. He's got a guess correct. He just runs up. M. Oh my God! Just watch your dome piece. Probably anticipating he was going to go for a grab or something, but you know what? He's got to deal with it anyways. And that is the fourth time he's gone for empty vanish into overhead. Random Fiend finally adjusting to it. Now he's going to get to chain together so many KO can hits. Now Floki's sparking totally gone. Random Fiend still has pop, uh, sparking to pop. Mm -hmm. Floki basically gets one more chance to make this happen. And again, going for an ant. He just keeps going for jump overheads and he's getting away with it. Random Fiend not able to punish, but he gets the air to air trade that time and it goes up 2 1. Random Fiend has the, has the read in the neutral and he's now got some of the defensive reads, it mm -hmm. seems. He's recognizing how to play around the wildness that is Floki's defense. The Wi Fi may be pretty bad in here, but download is complete. And now he is starting to get to a situation where Floki hasn't been able to answer him the way he has everyone else. Like, even so, he's establishing pressure, but Random Fiend just looks confident regardless if he's in on him or not. And he, oh no, doesn't double jump forward. He drops that mid screen combo, gives Floki another chance. Floki getting carried over to the corner, trying to find his way out of there, but does not matter because Random Fiend continuing to exert the pressure, and that is a dead Gohan again. Random Fiend over the past two games doing a great job of eliminating Gohan as quick as possible. Yep, and so Floki's, and he keeps getting very close to making it happen. Floki does. His Piccolo, Goku, you know, obviously a powerhouse in the anime. No slouch now, but always a bridesmaid, never a bride is what it's looking like right now. He Hard. Keeps, two games straight of bringing it down to just a solo-based Goku and just can't make it happen. I'm saying, that ain't Raditz. That's a perfect name. He knows what he's doing. There is nothing oh, wrong with this perfect no. being, and this is a reason why, because he has those, and this should be, he did drop it last time, but this should be a dead Piccolo. I don't think he's dropping it this time. He's got seven bars. He is not. Oh, he, what? Was that? So, I feel like he just act, did he, I honestly don't know. I wonder if he either dropped the super input or literally thought that Floki was just gonna let him get away with the American reset. Just to add a little bit more insult to injury. I'm assuming he dropped it, but hey, it's okay. Floki's not gonna make the cell go away. No, he's not. He's not gonna kill, but he gets the aerial Kamehameha. Finally able to put himself on the board. Now, now Random Fiend doesn't have sparking, but he's got so much bar. Yes. You know, this is gonna be one of the most honest comebacks that a care that someone could have to make. Agreed. Very much not undoable by any means, but baits the reflect and gonna go and get the hard punish. We better see a sparking pop as soon as he gets down to the ground. Yeah, if he's gonna need to live through this. It's gonna be so much damage. Oh no, he's not in a position to DHC to Vegeta. Mm -hmm. That oh. needy! What? <laughs> that setup was intense. The double- I'm hitting up the base Goku Discord as soon as I get home. That can't be real. I'm picking up base Goku. I'm, base picking, I'm picking up base Goku. Yo, he's so fun. My God. That he's was so fun. That was.